Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from 1001 Sandwiches of 1936, we're going to be making the cheese and horse dash radish sandwich. We start off with a cream cheese, which is three ounces of cream cheese, to which we add sour cream. Get that mixed up. And we add grated horse dash radish, salt, lemon juice, and onion. And we put that onto whole wheat bread. Okay, let's give this cheese and horse dash radish sandwich a go. The horseradish completely disappeared. And this was a scaled down version of the recipe. Everything was scaled down proportionally. This is basically a cream cheese, sour cream, and onion with a little lemon sandwich. It's good, but it's not really paying off the name. Good thing is, I think we can plus this up. First, we're gonna make that name come true with a little prepared horseradish. I'm gonna add a little everything but the bagel seasoning. Okay, let's give this cheese and horse dash radish sandwich plussed up with prepared horseradish and everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's a go. Woo, all right, there it is. Now I'm getting the cream cheese, the horseradish, the sour cream, and that fantastic combination of everything but the bagel seasoning. Mm. If I were one to add animal protein to sandwiches that did not have them, smoked salmon, baby. Oh, so good. Okay, so the original cheese and horse dash radish sandwich, clearly this is some sort of a snack sandwich or a sandwich that we'd have as a, a number of courses or maybe even a tea sandwich. Um, it's not intended to be a lunch sandwich. It was tasty. It was a great combination of flavors with the lemon and the sour cream and the cream cheese and the onion. Um, it just didn't pay off the horseradish. And I scaled down the recipe proportionally so everything that went in it is the same proportion as the original recipe, which would make like four or five sandwiches. Um, I'm gonna give that a five because it did not pay off the horseradish part. Uh, otherwise, it would have been a little bit higher. Plussed up with the prepared horseradish, which did give it a kick, and then everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's as a snack sandwich, tea sandwich. I'm gonna give that an eight. That is delicious. Definitely gonna finish that. And I would make this again, but it'd probably be like a snack or something like that. Uh, I definitely would not try to pass this off as lunch. Uh, that's how you make enemies. All right, see you tomorrow. <laughs>